That's what you're okay, Sorry, time. guys. <laughs> oh, hold it normally. <laughs> that, that is how I was holding it. I'm just holding it like this. I'm not drinking it. Okay, guys. This has been a good start so far. Um, welcome back. Disappointing. Is it disappointing? It smells like orange juice. Yeah, it and does. so you feel like it's gonna taste like orange juice. So what it does a like? little. Hold I'm not trying it until it won't absolutely break my tongue. Okay, I can't tell how it tastes because my taste buds are burnt. Yeah. We'll wait. Uh, we'll wait a little bit for tea review. But everyone, welcome mm, back. Not bad. Shut up. Welcome back to uh, Long Haul Podcast episode three. Episode three episode in the books. Three nice. in the books. We're so my, we're so happy to be back. We're we are so we're always happy to be back. Yeah. My name's Ernie. I'm Mikita. Or also Kai. known as Papa Smurf. Papa mm. Smurf Mikita. Um also known as, as Imposter. Imposter check. <laughs> I'm the real deal Kai. The God I'm Mikita. Should I what should my nickname be? If you're if Mikita's Papa Smurf Mikita and Kai's real deal Kai. <laughs> you have to be uh Should I Lil Big Earn. Lil Big Earn. <laughs> Lil I'm, Big I'm Lil Big Earn. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So you know what? And we're long haul. This is long haul podcast. Yeah. Episode three. So, uh, we're, well, we're going to be talking about some stuff today. We're always talking about some stuff. Tomorrow's election Ohio day. Tomorrow's uh, election day, which will come up later because we're not doing that right now. Yeah. It will come up later. And so once you see this, you'll probably know the results of it. So this will no, be us no, talking I'll, about it. We'll post it today, hopefully. Maybe. Hopefully. There shouldn't be a lot of editing to hopefully. do on this one. Hopefully. Hopefully, because we're all we're all good at this. Watch that mic just fail right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. It just ruins the entire thing. Speaking of issues we've been having, um, we can't figure out our audio right now. So yeah, so we just have one mic, one mic in the middle. In the middle. Well, Which, my mic works for my computer. Shut up. Nobody it doesn't for my phone. <laughs> shut up, Mickey. So that's not the one. But yeah, so that's where we're going. Hopefully, the audio isn't awful. If it is, K Trees Day. That sorry. means how sad and spent. We talked about this last time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna try the tea now. Hopefully, uh, I don't die. What if we make a segment where we just learn some Spanish words? Um, that is very disappointing. Yeah. It's like orange juice just Super without flavor. diluted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. No, it's not. Just it's not kidding. bad. It's not bad. It's just compared to what we were like expecting. Yeah. It's a it little. Taste it's a little disappointing. Honestly. Told you, less water, man, makes it more concentrated. You know, but. Well, it you wanted good. it to taste it better. Smells good. <laughs> so you just hold it, hold it back in there for longer. Well, yeah, once it just, once it sits in there for a while, maybe it'll taste better. Yeah. Maybe it'll well, become more juice. I'm going to rate this like a 4 out of 10. No, I would say like a 6 and, six and a half. I'd give it a, I'd give it a 5.7 out of I don't 10. Know, I'm super disappointed in this. Tea I like you. it more than a chai tea, to be honest. No You way. like it more than a chai tea? Yeah. Oh, I like the chai tea more. The chai yeah, tea more chai tea, tea had like was, good uh, flavor. What what do we give it? Like subtle. a six point four or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Overall it would be like a five point nine or something. I don't know what that means. Overall. Out of overall all, all of our scores yeah. are five point nine. Should we get uh, let's make a spreadsheet. I wanna make a spreadsheet <laughs> right now for um for our T review. And okay, I'm a, no, I'm gonna change my review. It's uh five point two. I'll change mine. Yeah. I feel like a four is pretty low. Hold on. I'm leaving mine at a at a five point seven. Four point eight. Four point eight. Yeah. Okay. I'm still disappointed by it. Um. Well, I'm gonna make a spreadsheet right now. Thanks, I'm gonna chat. go week two. Okay. Chai tea. Oh wait, no. Average was like. Week a six or something. No. Yeah, I think. So. Yeah. I think yeah. I don't think we were doing points, so that was just like, a solid six. Wait, I think I'm Duncan's not, having a nightmare. Right <laughs> ah. I don't know if you, you guys can't see that, but the dog over there is. Struggling with what? Nightmare fuel. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, what was my score? I gave it like a six point four or something like that. For the chai. For the chai. What did no. you give it, Kai? I, don't I know. just think I gave it a flat six. six. Yeah. And you gave it a flat six as well. Yeah. And then I'll do average. Average. That would be like a six point one or six point two. Mm-hmm. Six point one or six point two. Yeah. I think it's six point one. Six point one. Okay. Week. The week three is what is it? Citrus. Mm-hmm. Citrus. I gave it a five point seven. What did you give it, Kai? Four point eight. Four point eight. I'll give it a five point two. Five point two. So 
what is that? I'll give it, it's gotta be There should be a way to like, just add words to it, right? Yeah you can do it on Google Sheets. Oh. Somehow. I dunno. I dunno. You like ty- type average in like all caps or something? We'll just put it at a five point three. For uh average. Okay. Is that, is that allowed? Five point three? Yeah. I think so. Wait. Okay, you know what, or we'll just go to calculator and give it. <laughs> I, I don't even know why we're doing this. Or you can just ask Alexa. You guys probably don't like listening yeah, you to watch like, this. Yeah, literally don't care, but. We're, we're figuring it out. Yeah. It's, no, we're, we're working on it. It's a five point two three 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 three. So, so five point two. Five point two. Nice. That's what you gave him, Nikita. You were the average. But the, so me, me and I'm the above higher. average, and Kai's below, below average. average. And that translates to actual. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah. Dang, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, I'm gonna make this long haul tea review. All right. You so that's our tea review us. for the day. That's our tea review for the day. Thank you all for watching. That's the end of the podcast. Yep. Bye Just bye. kidding. No, we're, we're not. We're still good. We got so much to talk about today. I know. It's going to be incredible. Yeah. Okay, what should we start with? Indeed. Indeed. So. Indeed. Why did you do that? I don't think. I think we should save politics for the later part of the I, podcast. Yeah, we should wait a little bit on that. We'll just so if you want to hear our opinions about the election, Is it, yeah. it will be in about 15 to 20 minutes. Yep. Just skip ahead in the video or watch, watch all the way part. through. Because this is the good part. In the when future, we get to politics, we'll it gets, have time stamps it gets, on gets YouTube. Dirty. It gets dirty when we when we go to politics. Yeah. yeah. Then we kill each other. Mm-hmm. Pretty one much. Of us, sure. One of us will not make it out alive. Most likely, Nikita. This is the Hunger Games. Oh, why would it be me? Because, I don't know, I hate you. I'm the strongest out of the all Russian. of you. Oh, she's the Russian, actually. Yeah. Yeah. You're the weakest out of all of us. I'm the so, strongest. No, not you, him. I know, oh. but I got... The strongest game. Which is kind of, <laughs> all of them. kind of weird. That's uh, surprising. I got the strongest game. By the way, for all the viewers here, I'm from Ukraine, actually. They're just retarded. <laughs> so I hope you know that. <laughs> we know he's from we Ukraine. Know he's, we know. It's funny to say that he's a Russian because... Yeah. Because they're stupid. Because no, they're Because racist. Russia and Ukraine are, they hate each other, so it's just hilarious. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Mikita doesn't get it because... He's Ukrainian. He's Ukrainian. <laughs> But we get it because we're not. Yeah. So. You get it too because you're most likely not. Yeah. You think Unless you're on his side, then go go side. ahead. Be then leave. Then leave. We don't even want when you watch this. Don't say that. We need. If that. you agree with Makita, get out. What are we even talking about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. But it's, it's funny. I don't know what to talk about now. What should we do? There's a hair on here. Oh, Halloween. Oh, yeah, okay, I have a question for all you people, I guess. And if you guys want to comment and be a part of our conversations, by all means. On YouTube. Go ahead. Or TikTok, if you see um, TikTok. Do you guys actually like Halloween? I don't, but... I don't, don't either. Yeah, I don't. I don't either, and it's and it's really weird how many people love it. I feel like... like I don't understand it. just gives people to, an excuse to, like, dress up and let off steam. I mean, yeah, I mean, I Which guess... Which is cool, but... I understand, like, why it would be fun, but I don't but understand... But that's a holiday. But, like, I... I understand why it's a holiday as well, but I because it's like there's a historical yeah, thing about okay. it. Um, well, it's not really historical. It's like yeah, it's throwing just rocks kids throwing and, rocks at people, but 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 like, and I guess it's like a tradition now that whatever. Mm-hmm. We, but I don't understand why people love it so much because like I know people that say Halloween is their favorite holiday. Yeah, and it makes absolutely no sense to me because it's like it's not that great. Or, I think it's mostly like people with kids or like people who just want to get blacked out drunk. No, like people with kids. I, I feel think, like it is different. I think when you, you have, have kids. kids, when you have kids, Halloween would be your least favorite holiday. I don't because know because they're gonna get a yeah. shit ton of sugar, that's true. and then they're not gonna be able to handle themselves. But like the act of like taking your kids around, that's yeah, a good I guess, memory, I guess. I guess it's fun, but I still don't understand how that. Yeah. What I, I what I see the most is a lot of like high school kids being like, and high school and middle school kids being like, Halloween's my favorite holiday. Like why? It doesn't make any sense because you literally you like, can't get drunk you can do. and you usually don't get candy. Yeah. Yeah. It's stupid. Except we did last year somehow. Yeah, that, was like, <laughs> that was like our last, like, hoorah. It was so, we, I don't know why we did that. It was so it cold. It was so stupid. It was really yeah, cold. It was cold. Yeah, it was, it was really last awful. minute. We were like, where's the sunglasses at? And flip the backwards hat. It wasn't worth it. It was, it was not worth it. it, yeah. We did get a lot of candy, though. Yeah. yeah. Because no one else was out. I know. Basically what happened is we were, like, hanging out 
had some friends and we were like, "You know what? We should go trick or treating." So we all made these awful makeshift costumes in like five minutes. Yeah. And then we actually got so much candy because there was no one out. So yeah. all the people were like, "Oh, just it's, take all of it's our just candy. a bunch of old people trick or treating. Just give it all to them." Yeah. Yeah. So well, not old people because we're yeah, but like older. Older on the, on the like. On the child yeah, trailer. Yeah, you don't have to explain yourself there. <laughs> oh, well, I was just making sure everyone knows what I'm talking about. But okay. also, have you guys seen like those, what people were doing to give people candy this year? Like the little slide things? Oh, my mom no, had a, my mom had a, like one of those grabbers. Yeah. And she took like, you know, like old people where yeah. they can't pick stuff off the floors so and they walk around with a grabber. Uh-huh. She had one, she just stuck it in a bowl of candy, squeeze it, and just threw it <laughs> No, um, um, there's people with, like, these tubes, like, from their, like, second-story balcony down to, like, the, the thing, and they just rocketed the candy at children's faces. It was hilarious. What? Oh, that sounds fun. That would be fun. I saw, I didn't, I didn't see any of those, but I saw a guy, he just, I, it was on TikTok, and he just, whenever someone knocked on the door, he would he just, just open it and just chuck I saw that. That's yeah. hilarious. I love, that seems like something I I feel like that should be a tradition from now on. And then sometimes he would some, sometimes he would just stare at the camera like like have his back facing the door and just throw them down. Yeah. <laughs> or just shake the ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's pretty funny. But I, yeah. I still I I don't understand how Halloween can be like an actually like like yeah. a favorite holiday. I feel like it's, yeah. like it's on the same page as like St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Like yeah. like there's uh, the except same there's area. more there's more things to do when you're on on, on Halloween then yeah. actually yeah. actually you can get pretty freaking wasted on say Patrick's Day. <laughs> but I I, but I, like I do feel on the like, same scale. Yeah, yeah. But I don't I understand why you can like it and why you can enjoy Halloween, but I don't understand how it can be your favorite holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Because Especially when compared to Christmas been, and things. Yeah, 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 like why would you pick that? I never like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I don't I don't really like turkeys, Thanksgiving. Yeah, like, I don't really like Thanksgiving because of the food. I don't yeah. really like a lot of the Thanksgiving food. Uh, I, I like turkey, but turkey isn't my favorite. Oh, I hate turkey. It's an all it's right turkey. It's not it's not it's about it's You can't part. make it good. You yeah, just you can. can't. Yeah, you can. I've had some pretty good turkey. Um have you had bacon grease fried turkey? Oh god. It is that's gonna terrible. That's gonna get a heart attack. It'll though. give yeah. you a heart attack. But hey, yo, it is so diabetes, good. Jack. No, yeah, I like turkey and I really like pies. I love oh, me yeah. too. And that is why I like why I like Thanksgiving. It's yeah. not my favorite holiday, but I enjoy it a little bit. And I also like you know like being it just able gives to just, you an excuse to eat. Yeah, all I like food. I like yeah. the mood of it where you can just hang out with people. Mm-hmm. You know, eat laid back. Also, yeah. you eat so much for lunch. Like that's yeah. awesome. And um, but Christmas. Favorite holiday. Because, yeah, that's the best. Because the holiday itself lasts the entire month of December. Yeah. And well, in the November, it starts, basically. No, no, no. I've no, heard, no, like, no, no. 15 if you play ho- If you play Christmas music before Thanksgiving, you are scum of the earth. And I, I agree, but also, like, I've heard, I've got Christmas songs stuck in my head right yeah, now yeah. already. I, and when I'm scrolling through TikTok, I keep <laughs> seeing Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas is You. Yeah. And I'm like, no. It's not time yet. It's Thanksgiving. I've seen memes about it. Like a bar. Oh, Runaway oh, Dog. Yeah. Yeah. Runaway Dog. Oh, no, the only is right there. Okay. Nice. Well, we're not... You pointed at the person. I thought you were talking about <laughs> my dog. My right there, guys. <laughs> no. Jesus Christ. He's not on a leash. No, but Christmas has the best vibes. The entire, like, Christmas season is incredible. I agree. Just, yeah. Like, all the things you can do is just so fun. And, like... Well, especially, like, where we live. No, actually, I'm we got like, yeah. right there. Like, yeah, we. I don't know. I don't like Christmas here because it's never cold. It's that's true. It's never that's true. Well, here. yeah, it. Well, that's sometimes like a, it is. Because it depends. Colorado is like there are there is snow in the mountains, but like not in the Denver metro area. Have you ever yeah. like spent a Christmas in the mountains though? It yeah. is different. It. Like it, it is. Does. It is amazing. I haven't, but I want no, to. No, it's it's incredible. It's it's, it's great. something. The vibes are just immaculate yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah. No, Christmas is a great holiday. What other holidays are good? New um, Year's, but that's New basically Year's, the same. It's like the same thing. That's yeah. the same as Christmas, except it's not like kind of. It does. The vibes are slowly fading, and you just get wasted. Yeah. Basically. Pretty much Christmas and New Year's are like the best, I think. Yeah. You like. What other holidays are there? Valentine's Day, which is just depressing that's, mode. That's <laughs> just a Hallmark holiday. Whatever. And it's yeah. also and it's also like. Sad. It was invented by candy. Was it really? Pretty much, so they could sell candy. Are you lying or no? Have you guys I, had I have those no idea, but that's well, probably uh, true. Have you guys had those like uh those like little SpongeBob burger things that are like gummies? I always uh, find them on Valentine's Day, and they are no, so freaking good. 
Wait, what are you talking about? Those little SpongeBob like little gummy burgers. Have you had those? The what? Oh my god. I I oh, the burgers that are like, yeah, they're, they're awful. So, no, I love those. On Valentine's Day only, though. The rest of the year, they're terrible. Okay, um, so I looked it up. Valentine's Day. It says, the ancient Romans may also be responsible for the name of mo- our modern day love. Emperor Claudius II executed two men, both named <laughs> Valentine, on February 14th oh god. of different years in the 3rd century. Um, and then it was honored by the Catholic Church. Um, and now it's Valentine's Day. I feel like it was popularized, though, by a big companies to make more money. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, it wasn't, like, actually a really holiday I until... I think I think the idea of, like, Valentine's Day... Because it's named it's named after St. Valentine, which is in the Catholic Church. It's one of the um, same. Yeah. But, um, I do, I do think that Valentine's is, like, is, like, the idea of it is, like, the love holiday or whatever. But I do think that like corporations and stuff have like mm-hmm. made yeah, it no made doubt. it to be set for, made it to be where it is today, since like they're just trying to make money. A lot of holidays like, always have those... used to be horrible. Mm-hmm. Like Christmas used to be just a bunch of Europeans getting drunk and just destroying towns. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. But Valentine's Day has those stupid little candy hearts. Those are terrible. I know. I hate Actually, those. no, the banana ones are really. Or I don't think they're banana. They're yellow. I yeah. bananas. Those are good. I don't know what yeah. Those are good. Those are the only ones that are good. But I hate those candies. Like, ugh. and but you can't eat more than like two of them. The banana, even though they're good. Yeah. Otherwise, you just throw up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like banana sprite challenge. Have you seen that? No. You like yeah, eat a banana and then drink that. sprite. It makes you puke. Banana no, sprite challenge. No, you have to run. No. Well, yeah, it is. I do think you do have to run. Really? Well, either way, it'll make you puke. Banana sprite challenge on Long Haul Podcast. You want to see it happen? Facts. Not on the podcast, on the YouTube channel. On the YouTube, channel. On the YouTube yeah. yeah. We could do that on the YouTube. Or a TikTok, because it'll be kind of short. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but after a while, we, do, we should like make our YouTube channel more like a normal YouTube channel, not just well, a we place can. for our podcast. We will. This will just be like a part of the channel, but this yeah, is yeah, sure. We could post our podcast there, but like we should have a bunch of challenges there and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, let us know what you guys want to see us do, too. Facts. Because In the future. Facts. Once we're famous. We need ideas. Yeah. Long haul. You know, we're already going to be your favorite YouTube channel. Yeah. Exactly. Except Mr. Beast. Except Mr. Beast. Yeah, Mr. Beast. We're not plugging that, though. But. No. <laughs> well, everybody knows who that is. We yeah. don't know. We need him to plug us, not, oh, by yeah. just, not the Beast, other way. Give us a shout out. We'll pay you 25 cents. Ooh. <laughs> maybe throw in a bonus 25 cents. Maybe throw in a bonus quarter, yeah. We might bring it up to 50 cents. Yeah. If it's a really good shout out. Yeah. I low key want to be in the Mr. Beast channel. Yeah, that would be so That cool. would be pretty cool. Yeah, that would be awesome. I love Mr. Beast. If only we could do those challenges like Mr. Beast does. If only we were rich. Yeah. If only we were, like, rich out of our minds. I feel like we talked about this last time. We, we did, did talk about this last time. Okay. This is um, a common This is a common topic. He's not too rich. He just makes a lot of money from sponsorships. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I keep getting notifications on my watch. Me too. Oh. I know. We're so popular, Kai. What? Such a struggle. Wait. For, okay, does, if anyone has a MacBook on here, Safari gives me, uh, like, a thing at the bottom of my screen that's like, um, in the last seven days, Safari has present, prevented 34 trackers from profiling you. So it's telling me that, like, people are trying to profile me. Safari. So basically, no, it's, that's not it's basically like people. ads it's targeting more like you. A it's like a software. tracker. Yeah. Oh. So like websites you visit, it'll show more common websites like ads and like stuff. Like those cookie trackers. Oh, I can look on it. Okay, I had no clue. I thought I was trying to be hacked. It's like I what Facebook does. Like if it, it like the videos it shows you, it'll show you more common videos like that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wish my phone did that though. I, I had to install like a separate like ad blocking software. To, oh. Like, show me this stuff. Okay. Yeah. Because when I when I um got this and like signed up on the signed in on the computer and everything. It had me uh, answer some questions about, like, how I want ads to be made for me or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I said, don't. <laughs> no <laughs> ads. Like, Get out of here. Well, I just said, like, I don't need ads. I don't what is need... that? What? That's the fly's friend. There's a lot of bugs here. Well, like, that's because it's an outdoor... Look, that's the fly's friend. Oh. From last time. Mike Pence's fly. That's its friend right there. 
It's cuz this is a, it's a, it's an enclosed patio. It's not a room. Oh. That's what we're in right now. We're in my enclosed patio. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's, because it's not insulated, it's not um It's just some walls. It's just some walls, yeah. And maybe a roof. Have you guys seen that white mocha TikTok trend? From Starbucks? No. Like where you get a white mocha with like caramel and sweet whipped cream? Looks so good. Sweet whipped cream? How do you, what? Hold up, I'll show you. Just find it. Oh, I wanna oh, see this. the phone's right there. Shoot. Wait, That's what are you talking about? Saying. Well, there's like a new uh, TikTok trend about like different Starbucks menu items. Uh-huh. And this was one of them. It looks so good. I haven't had Starbucks so in forever. But white mocha is like white chocolate though, right? Like it's terrible. Yeah. yeah. I hate white chocolate. Well, actually, chocolate. a while ago, I think it was at the Denver Art Museum. Uh-huh. They had, it was like, it might have, I might have gone on May 4th. Which is made of four seaweeds. And they had um they had like Star Wars themed drinks. Yeah. And one of it was the Darth Maul. Don't copyright strike us if that's a copyrighted name and I'm not allowed to say that. Please. I doubt that. But um, I know we're talking about it. Oh uh, well. So it's fine. Anyway, it was called their Darth it was like a Darth Maul drink and it was a mocha frappuccino mm-hmm. with raspberry syrup. Holy well, you shit. and raspberry syrup, we already know how that went. Holy shit. That was incredible. It was one of the greatest things I've ever had. And I still get it all the time. I still just... You it's just like, I don't, for the I just, dark mall? I, no, no, no. I ask, I say, can I get a mocha frappuccino with raspberry syrup? And... Woo! It's so good. Mm-hmm. It's so good. That does sound kind of good. It's really good. And they had a... I think it was a... Pa, what's her name? Natalie Portman. Yeah. What's what's her name in that? Senator. Natalie Portman is in Star Wars. Yeah, I know, but what's what's her character's name? Padme. Padme. Yeah, that's what it was. Sorry. Padme. They had a Padme drink as well, and it was a white mocha with raspberry syrup. So the same thing. So the same thing, but it was a white mocha instead. Wait, what? You said white mocha the first time. Yeah. No, it was just oh, I didn't, I didn't mean. Yeah, white you said mocha. white mocha. Well, well, for Darth Maul, it was just the regular mocha. Yeah. And then for Natalie Portman, it was the white or. Padme was the white mocha. Yeah. That's what I meant. I said that wrong. I'm sorry. But the white mocha wasn't as good. Okay. Damn. We should go to Starbucks after this. We should not. We should actually. Yeah. Actually, I have to leave at 11. Oh. I, I haven't had Starbucks in so long. The only coffee I've had in like a really long time is just straight black coffee. Yeah, I don't really yeah. drink coffee. Like, I'll get Starbucks like occasionally, but it's not like an everyday thing. Yeah. It doesn't give like, me energy, to be honest. Yeah, same. Yeah. It, like, makes me feel, like, super anxious. You know? Yeah. It kind of makes me jittery, I to be honest. super anxious? Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> but, like... Depressive mode. Hence why we drink tea, guys. Yeah. Green, also, tea's better. Green, green tea, tea is just so much better. better than coffee. I haven't had green tea in so long, honestly. I had it, like, two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? I had it really? yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, you had it at the podcast. Yeah. If y'all nice. remember that, throw back to episode one and go watch it. Flashback. Facts. T. We're back on T somehow. That's yeah. all we talked about. No, that's not true. This is, that is our, uh, That's our thing. thing. Yeah. Long Haul Podcast, that T is the thing here. If you guys like tea, kind of, get here. I don't even like tea that much, honestly. Like, I enjoy it, but I'm not, like, an avid tea drinker, yeah. you know? Because, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I guess. I drink I most of my tea, like, like, before I go to bed. Really? I don't, that's I don't weird. drink tea. It has caffeine in it. No, no like the sleepy, it's like the only time I ever drink tea is on the podcast. Oh. Like seriously. Sweet. I don't, I don't drink tea a lot. Tea so. companies, you did not hear that. Still sponsor us. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know why like we're drinking tea. We just decided good, one yeah. day we were like, yeah, let's drink tea. And it's just stuck. Well, we decided on day one that we're going to drink Maybe tea. in the future we could buy some expensive tea. Yeah. Mm. Maybe like something that costs like ten bucks a packet. We could buy like one packet for each. We of could us. like do like an expensive versus like not expensive tea there's, episode. Mm. Yeah, there's the. Thing I feel like nobody would want to watch that, that, but like still. They have like a cheese thing on Epicurious. They have like ex- expensive versus cheap cheese. Oh, and so like American has... versus like some expensive like. No, it's like the same uh, like cheese, like cheddar cheese, but like one's expensive, one is cheap, and like you have to figure it out which. One As you is. can see, Makita is British. He's an avid. <laughs> no, he's European. <laughs> he's European. That's why he drinks so much tea. And eats so much um, cheese. Stereotypes. I love cheese. Who doesn't love cheese, okay? It's I honestly don't love cheese. It goes good with I like, like cheese, much and I like... Aren't you lactose intolerant? No, though? I'm not. I'm not... 
Oh. I'm not inferior. <laughs> Kai, is, Kai is the inferior one because he is allergic to I'm allergic to, peanut. to peanuts. How yeah. can I help that? I can't do anything about it. Yeah, well, that. maybe don't be allergic to peanuts. Maybe don't be allergic to Sour Patch Kids. I'm not allergic to Sour Patch Kids. You can't eat anything sour without, like, okay, your that doesn't mean turning. I'm allergic. You're, I have heard it here first. If you're genetically deformed, <laughs> you're a beta bitch. You're fucking awful. I'm no. just kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm just kidding. Basically, I, Nikita I'm is kidding. not allergic to I anything. I am kidding though. a little bit. But, um, I don't know, maybe I am. Well, not, he's not, we don't think he's allergic to anything, so he's the best one out of Like, all sometimes ones. when I eat, like, dark chocolate, I just sneeze. I don't think that's an allergy, though. <laughs> <laughs> dark chocolate sneeze. makes me sneeze. <laughs> Guys, if that happens I mean, to you, you get Makita up. He needs some help. He needs some help. Yeah, I do need help. The only thing I'm allergic to is, uh, cats. And pollen, I guess, but everyone's allergic to Good pollen. To I'm, like, know. slightly allergic to cats, but it, it, like, depends on the cat. Good to know. I'm, like, pretty allergic, like... Like, if I get around them, though, like, around. like I get, like, super stuffy and, like, my... Oh, did you know that you're not up. actually allergic to the cat's fur? It's their spit? Yeah, it's because their they clean themselves? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's scary, honestly. I don't want to get cat spit in me, inside yeah, of me. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Late. And I kiss my cat all the time. Ew. Yo, Makita Ew. makes out with his cat. Ew. <laughs> Makita's rice purity score is... Dropped. Is going down one. <laughs> How is... The last one on the rice purity score is... Uh, I got a 98, but all I did was oh, the last two But it was just things. the last two, yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm not going to say it because it's awful, but you guys know what the rice purity test is. Yeah, and if you don't, just look at the last two and you'll figure out what yeah. we're talking about. The last about. one is the one we're talking about, which is very funny if you understand it. I don't think Makita does. Kai and I do. Yeah. Let's get it, Kai. I forgot what it was. was. Oh. So well, we're not going to talk. I don't care too much. Because it's... I think I actually got like a 76, 78 or something like that. Nice. Got a zero. Rice purity complete. Oh, no, 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 no. Tasks complete. Followed the warning on the top. Completing oh, all these yeah, could lead to your death. Honest, could, could lead to your death, and it's like, and if it doesn't, you should be dead anyways. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right? That, that stuff, when I was doing it, I was like, the first half, I was like, okay, okay. And then, and then like, just toward the bottom of it, like, the bottom terrible. quarter, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> if anyone is clicking these, like... Yo, some girl told me she got, like, a 15. I was like, oh my god, I don't get that. away from me. Yeah, no, that's not it. Um, so just we're messing at, with you. We're at, 20, we're at 28 minutes. If we want to go to uh, talk a little bit about the election. Okay. Uh, if you guys want to. Cue the uh, left, right, and in between <laughs> intro. Alright, let's All right, go. We're done. Um, so, yeah. This is our newest segment that we started off last week, um, where we go left, right, independent, and... Oh, no. I you said that and totally and wrong. Left, right, and in between. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. It just sounds Sorry. better. Sorry. Um, and where we talk... This is our political segment, where we can talk about political things, and we are all differently opinionated, if that is the correct thing to say in that situation, whereas I am right-leaning... Far right leaning. I'm just kidding. Not far right leaning. But yeah. you kind of, shut up. You are far right. <laughs> no, like you're far right. Very people far assume is like Nazis. Nazis. Yeah. It, he's not. I'm not. It's just like no. Th- those are just extremists. Yeah. yeah but like extremist. when you say that, the general people will be like, yeah, that's yeah, what he means. Yeah. Okay. I'm not a Nazi. I am German. I'm not a Nazi. <laughs> okay. Like you know, I'm left leaning. Not. Far, far left. Just kidding, he's not far Somewhere right. like in the middle, yeah. left. And I'm pretty much just in between both of them. I have different stances on both of their viewpoints. So, so yeah, so we have all different opinions represented, except for women. Because <laughs> there's nobody, <laughs> nobody, no women wants to talk politics with us. Yeah, we try. K Tree's Day. K Tree's Day. That means how's yeah. in Spanish. But you know that. But you, you know that because we've said it at least five times. 
Uh, but yeah, so we go over political things with all these different, all our different, um... So what's the first views? topic gonna be? Well, well let's we're just, just go we're over just gonna the talk about the election. Yeah, yeah, because, like, okay. because that's, like, the current event. Yeah. And the event, uh, we're filming this on Monday the 2nd, I believe? Yep, yep. Yeah. So, um, hopefully it'll be out by tonight. We'll see. But it should, will be out by tomorrow, definitely. Yeah. Um, so it, it's day before election. We're just gonna talk about some... Thoughts we have about it. We're going to fight each other with our hands and kill someone. Throw hands, guys. That's how we do it. Hell yeah. Get yeah. ready. Boxing time. But, uh, yeah. Do you want to... Do you have anything to say first, either of you? Do you? Basically, if you have... If you're just living under a rock, <laughs> we've, got, we've got two candidates this time around. Like every other time. Like every other election, there are two candidates. Well, there's actually well, a lot we, of candidates. There's a lot of candidates. There's just two people that are basically... I actually think Kanye are. is going to be like a contender. Not, I, I not, don't think not, so. Like, not, I mean, by contender, I mean he's going to get a significant folks, amount yeah. of the vote where it will be like Kanye's third place. <laughs> yeah. well, a I lot of people are I voting right now, like a lot of uneducated people. That's true. Yeah. And by uneducated people, I mean like people who didn't go to college. Yeah, or, or like I'm not saying you're dumb. Yeah, yeah. Like, but like, no matter the view, like there is a lot of people who just don't know, who like don't know a lot about politics. That just vote, which yeah. is okay, yeah. but like yeah. you should like generally educate yourself yeah. and but not, still not by listening to like people should Fox listen to us. CNN. Listen to us. No, don't listen. No, to we us. are who educate. <laughs> you can if you want to, but like do your own research. Yeah, that's fine. And check your sources. But still, a lot of people just do. don't vote. Yeah, that's true. I know, which is sad because, like, one person not voting, yeah, but, like, once that happens, it just keeps yeah. going. Yeah. Like, the voter turnout in the U.S. is 55% on average. In Western Europe, it's about 80%. In Australia and, I think, Singapore is over 90%. I wish I lived in Australia, okay? I Australia, don't. Not, not for politics. I don't. Just because it is so cool. And there's, there's so many freaking spiders there. But not just spiders. spiders. There's so many things that could kill you there. It's insane. Like, there's some giant snakes. Yeah. Kangaroos are dangerous enough. Have you seen those okay, things? Um, they yeah, yeah, beat you. Um, in Australia, you said that a lot of people vote in Australia. Like, yeah. it's like 95%. It's actually, no, over 90 That's Yeah, it. it's, it's actually... Un- they're under federal law. They're required to. Vote. Yeah, I know. So like that's that's why so many. So that like five percent in, in America, the there's law. like you have no obligation to vote. I mean, you yeah, have the, you, you have, have the option if you to don't vote, vote in Australia. You get fined. Yeah. So. Yeah. But which honestly isn't a terrible idea, but still you like. Yes, but but yeah. that's a, that's that's authoritarian stuff. Yeah. And we don't like, want to go there. Like sure, like requiring people to vote. Yeah, that would come out with some good. Like everyone's opinion is being heard but like once you're requiring someone to do something like vote then like you're just, it just you just add on to I that think about voting, things, like, you, you should get like a small tax break a small one which would help you but like you know. shouldn't be required to vote like in Singa- and it'll only happen every four years in too, Singapore, so it's not like the if government you don't vote losing. once yeah. you could actually lose your right to vote forever yeah which is terrible i honestly i honestly don't agree with that i think i mean i understand why it's important for people to vote i just I think the incentive should be, like, your voice is being heard. And yeah. that's it. Like, you shouldn't get any... Well, but also, a lot of people are feeling like they don't like the candidates. And then, yeah, I, yeah. And then I they're like, that. well, my, they I don't have any of my viewpoints represented, year. so yeah. why should I vote? They feel, they feel that way every year. Every, 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 every year, people... That's why people aren't voting. voting. Because no one ever... But like, you should pick the one that's closest actually, to your view. I actually have a question for you guys. If any of you know that, I don't... I uh, Maybe I'm just stupid and uneducated, but I don't understand how primary elections work. Like, like the, uh, like the Republican primaries are the. I mean, I understand that like you vote on what candidate you want to be the Democratic candidate. Mm-hmm. I guess, but like, yeah. is it? Do they decide it? It's no. Like, it's basically is, just. Is, like, is it? Is it like for Democrat? The, for the Democrat primary, is it only registered Democrats that are allowed to vote in that, or is it anyone? And is it like? Is it decided by that popular vote, or is it decided by only blue states? I don't know. That's I've been having. Yeah, that it's actually decided by only blue states. I know that, but I don't know. And if I it's think only swing a... states can also vote. Yeah, is it but I don't know if it's only Democrats who can vote. Is it like registered Democrats? That would make sense if only Democrats could vote for that. Yeah. Like like registered Democrats. Yeah. Like you have to register and maybe I don't know if they send it to people who say they're like undecided or not. Yeah, I don't know because I was I was thinking about that because I was thinking like, 
Joe Biden is an awful Democratic candidate. I mean, like, no matter who you, yeah. like, what you agree with, like, all the other people you had, like, the Democrats had, like, you had Bernie Sanders, which, he's pretty, he's, like, like he's, far he's pretty extreme, he extreme for, he, no, 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 he's, no, pretty, for American he's pretty extreme for American policies, um, but a lot of people, a lot of younger people are, like, agree, starting to agree with that, that, like, Bernie Sanders like, narrative progressive, or whatever. like, yeah. yeah. And then you yeah. have, you had people like Kamala Harris, you had people like, I don't know, what was that other lady? <laughs> You had Andrew Yang, who was, he did nothing, but, like, he was still better than Joe Biden. And that, like, tech guy, what was his name? Oh, Michael Bloomberg? No. What? Well, no. Bloomberg. It was Bloomberg, right? No, not the no. old dude, the younger dude. Bloomberg? Or Bloomberg? Yeah. What? I'm pretty sure Bloomberg ran for president. Oh, and it was I Elizabeth Warren. So. Yeah. yeah. Like, those people. There was, a, there was a bunch of better Like, out of all the people you could have picked, I feel like they picked him just because he was vice president. I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. But, but like, you, you got Joe Biden, which... Whatever. Sucks to suck for you guys. But, um, I, I was thinking about it. I was like, why would the Democrats choose Joe Biden when they had so many people? So I was thinking, because I wasn't sure how the primaries worked or if, uh, like, because I, I was like, are Republicans able to vote in the Democratic primary election? Because, like, yeah, if they know. could, I feel like it would be the biggest, like, meme ever to just throw it <laughs> and, like, <laughs> vote for the worst Democratic candidate. Yeah. Because, like, that could... Know. You could do something like that. So I was just I was just wondering about that because I was thinking about that a few days ago. But if yeah. you think about it, how did Trump win the Republican nominee? I don't, I don't even know. He any is other the worst. I don't it's even, it's, it's be, well, he's not the worst. There's I didn't no, even know. Okay. He's one of did the they worst even Republicans like ever. televise any of the Republican stuff? Like I didn't even. No, see they did. It. It's it was just like Republican Pointless. stuff isn't as as like out there as Democratic yeah. stuff. Yeah. You know? Because um, actually, most people are more left leaning in America. But um, that's just a fact. The, I, what was I gonna say? But still, Republicans have the majority of like the power. It's because right of now. the electoral college. Yeah. No, it's just because more Republicans vote. True. No. It's Hillary just they don't won. they don't publicize it as much. Hillary won the she won by three vote. million votes, and that's there was more, and that is that's like one percent though, right? Yeah, and that is and that is way less than margin of error. In, an election, in a popular election, which is why the Electoral College exists, because there's that margin of error. Like, no, that's false. It exists well, to give small states more power. Yeah, but like also because there's a margin of error in the popular vote. Like, if yeah. you just use the popular but vote... But mostly to give small it's, states it's more power. No, because if you base no. it off of population, it's just people are just going to target big cities, and that's it. Yeah, it's... Yeah. yeah. And, um... Which is why you do not want to pass whatever... And that's that why I think the Electoral College should be reformed. Is that a bill? What? There's what? like there's somebody's trying to get the like mm. it to be based off of population. It's in Colorado, yeah. There's a there's a no there's a thing to no. vote for on like whether or not you want it the electoral college to be gone and for it to be popular vote election. No, terrible. Which is stupid because like like there are problems with the electoral college and there's ways yeah. to fix it. Yes, but, but there's like the more popular problems vote, there's popular more problems vote. with just popular vote because of that margin of error because of people like not being able to vote or like not getting their votes counted and. You know, like just big being big able cities, to tamper with it. Yeah. yeah, and big cities being controlling the election. Yeah, yeah. Like places like California, New York, and Texas would control the election. So I think what should happen is that popular vote should be decided based on districts and a state. So like, if a Republican won like certain amounts of districts, but the Democrat still like won most of the votes, it shouldn't just all the votes just yeah. shouldn't go to the Democrat. I, I think it shouldn't be like winner takes all. I think yeah, it should be. That, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what he's saying. saying. He's yeah. like, so it's based. Uh, it's based on county. And yeah. So it would give so minorities like, more power. So yeah. like, so like if um, I don't know, like the county that we're in, if Colorado goes blue, but our county goes red, goes red. Yeah. Then we would still get like. Yeah. 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 I think that's what should happen too. I I I think that would be an all right thing to do. I just don't think it would really change. Yeah, but like more people would see their vote as like more powerful. Yeah, yeah like people. I, I think it would think encourage it would, more I people. It would, I don't think it would actually change. It would the represent the count, uh, country. Yeah. It might not change the results, but I think it'd still yeah. encourage people to go out and it's vote. It's still a good reform. Yeah. yeah, that's that's true. I agree with like fixing it. Okay. Well, like okay, so based on like complete political views gone, like I know you would prefer to see Joe Biden win. Yeah. I would prefer to see Trump win. I don't, I'm not sure where Kai's at. I don't really like, like either, but you, like... Who do you actually think is going to win? 
Like, like okay. honest, completely opinion, who do you think is going to win the election? So, I think it's going to be Trump. But, yeah. but that's only because he just, he has so much, like, Biden is just sitting there, like, slandering yeah. him. He's not actually, like, doing anything. No, I, it's, I think it's going to be Trump because Bi- the uh, Biden-Harris campaign uh-huh. has been, like, the least, like, I don't know publicized campaign there has yeah. ever okay. had. I've seen like, more I've seen more stuff from Obama promoting yeah, than I have from, I, we, from actually I Biden. I haven't seen stuff from them. I haven't seen them give talks or anything like that. Yeah, They've exactly. done a couple rallies. I haven't seen them like give like do a lot of stuff. Yeah. And but with and Trump's doing rallies like Left four times rallies. a week. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, it's insane. And well, I think and I think that's gonna be a big part in his winning the election. Well He's, I think Biden's gonna win, but for a different reason. Because Trump is putting so much more money into swing states right now, and he's losing. Uh, uh, what I mean is more money into advertising yeah. in yeah. swing states, but he's losing some money in like Republican states like Arkansas, that are like fifty six percent Republican. I don't. I don't um, think that state. I don't think that Republican states are actually. I don't think they're gonna go blue. I, I think they, I think they, they can, mu- I think they, they will mu- event I I think a I think few of them might they, transition eventually, but I don't think it'll be this year. I don't know. Which Biden is why he's putting so much more money into advertisement in swing states and that might help him a lot. Yeah, but um, also the reason Trump won last time was because of the no, rest belt. Like that's that all those votes nobody targeted it and he no. still has it. Yeah. I I think I think there's gonna be I think Pennsylvania is going red this year, which mm-hmm. they didn't I don't I don't believe they went. In 2016, I don't. I think, I'll look it. I think it was close, but I yeah. think they went red still. The last so time Trump me... won because of fear, because of fear of well, immigrants, and right now, uh, like well, it helped. Really well, like, we're talking like actual votes, right? Yeah. Now. yeah. Oh, that was that was their prediction. That was wrong. But still, oh, like, they he did can't go. run based on fear of COVID because that's his no. But campaign. Trump isn't running on fear of COVID. Yeah. That's what Biden's running. Biden's saying, Biden's saying, you guys uh-huh. should be scared of this, and, and by, that's what the Democratic campaign exactly. this year. That's the Democratic campaign this year is fear. It's, our country is awful, and it's... And we need someone to defend No, it's mostly just to get rid of Trump. It's completely... Well, yeah, right. but they're basing yeah, it off of fear That's why no one's, no one's done, voting for Biden. People, everyone's voting against Trump. Yeah. The people that are voting for Biden are not voting for Biden. They're voting against Trump. That's, that's why I think Trump is going to win. That's a big part of a, another part why I think Trump is going to win, because there are no Biden supporters. There are anti-Trump. That Pretty is, much, that's all it is. And it's 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 anti-Trump versus Trump, Trump supporters. Yeah. So and that's why I think it's going to win. Because Trump is going to win because there there's nothing. There is Biden doesn't have anything. He has he he hasn't said any, he doesn't have views that he's actually like secure on because he can change his views whenever he wants. Like he's done with Frank. No, he has a yeah. good Medicare. He that's the only. Thing. That's the only that's thing the in his whole career that he's. It's, it's, he's just he's just saying oh, Obama migration. All he's saying is Obamacare. That's it. Literally, he's and just like Obama, part two, but like, he's he, not going to yeah, do anything. He's, he's running on... Obama, he's, part two, he's never going to be as good as Obama. He's, exactly, that's yeah, what I'm Obama. saying. He's not going to do anything. He's running on... You, you guys should... you this The place that we're at in this country right now is awful, and you guys just want to have Obama back. That's what he's running on. And it's not a Biden should be president. It's a, oh, Biden used to be Obama's VP, so it shouldn't be Trump anymore. And yep. that's why I think Trump is going to win. And Biden's losing important states like Pennsylvania, and Arizona's going red as well. But um, and he's already the Democrats have already lost Michigan, so Michigan's going red again. And Wisconsin's going to go red. And I think I it's going to be. I don't know. I think it's going to well. About that. Wisconsin, no, Wisconsin, Wisconsin overthrew their government because they don't like democratic policies anymore. Wisconsin's going red. It's definitely going red. Yeah, and Michigan is also going red because of how awfully whatever her name is, did with COVID response. Like their everyone, governor, yeah. Yeah, their governor. And she also got kidnapped. Almost. <laughs> but that's not why it's going red. Right. But yeah, so I'm I'm pretty confident in that Trump, I don't think Biden has a chance. I, I can no, see how it will be. Biden uh, does have a chance. I th- I can, I, it's going to be very close. I think, I think there's I think a chance it'll be, it'll be close, but I think it's definitely going to go Trump. I think it'll look no, close, but definitely. it's still going to be Trump. Like, because... I don't know. Like, I don't know. Biden... He's not, 
his time in office is literally just going to be him. It's the same as the rest of his whole career. He's going to do nothing. He's going to do nothing. He's Which, going to be a fill up. That's I what I don't that, understand is a lot of things. A lot of things that like people are posting about whether it should be Trump or it should be Biden is that like it's going to change so much. It won't. The presidential won't. election does not change your personal life a lot because that's why that's what's great about having states and state government is that that's the main things that affect your life are in state government. Yeah. A lot of federal policies, like, there's not a lot of federal policies. No, but Trump is going to ruin a lot of relationships with other countries. No, he's made he, relationships he's already better done. with all our all, uh, mostly of, most of the countries we've had bad relationships with. I mean, you could hate him. He's, he's fixed he a lot of the problems of the in the Paris Accord. The Paris Accord, Accord, Accord was the worst thing ever. It looked it was, the, Paris uh, Accord, it was, the Paris Accord was a, was absolutely nothing. It, it did was just, nothing, but it was, yeah, it was it still nothing. helpful. So he was like, it encouraged so, global so he, cooperation. So he said, "Why am I in this if it's not doing anything?" So he got out. Which I don't care if you agree with that so or disagree. It with did that. nothing. It did. So it did nothing. So why are you bringing it up? So why pull the Paris out of Accord? It? Because it's it's a stupid thing to be a part of. No, it is. And not. then he and then he joined the one one hundred billion tree. Yeah, thing? whatever that is. Whatever. Yeah. It's, it's no better than the Paris Accord, honestly. Like, neither of them were good. So why leave the but Paris Accord? Because it's stupid, and, it, and in no, it ha- its entire existence, it hasn't get, do- gotten anything. Literally, done. it does nothing except say these countries will work on it in the future. Yeah, and they haven't done it. It still incor- encourages global cooperation. They have Global cooperation is stupid. Oh, yeah. are you saying cooper- cooperation? Cooperation. I heard yeah. corporation. Me corporation. Too. And I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I heard corporation, no, but like, global okay. corporation is whatever. If Trump, Trump's, okay, you can dislike him all you want and say he's ruined relationships with other countries, but he's still the president. He's not like, he's not stupid, okay? He's not going to like yeah. say nuclear war for all these countries. Yeah, he honestly. But he's never, a businessman. That's he never he wants happen. these deals. Yeah. And he's, and he's done so well in the Middle East with that, um, with the whole like Israeli pa- Pakistan. Okay, you can't talk about. I haven't Europe. followed that enough. It's just to messed know up. I know, but he stopped. And that's because of the U.S. and Britain. No, but he stopped. Mo- well, but it wasn't his fault. It wasn't. It was, his like, it was already it was like Bush and Clinton. Up. Yeah, and all those people. No, it from a while goes ago. back way further oh, really? to yeah. the British okay. Empire. Yeah. Oh yeah, but like. Well, we're but, talking like modern but, day. But he had he had all those countries. You can't say that that president is doing good in the middle. I'm not saying he's doing good. Up. I'm saying no, he's, he's just trying to improve it. He's, he's trying doing, to do something. He's doing better war. than every he other just president. Can't do that. He's doing. Better. He's not trying to go to war. He's trying to stop he's, it. He's pulled. Out, he's pulled troops out of there. He had. He, he doesn't want that, troops in there. He he Why, had that. Will that be a good thing? Though? He had that peace. He made that peace agreement with Israeli and all those people. That was it. so controversial. Yeah, but it helped. He and basically forced him into it. He got nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize for that. So, like, he's obviously doing something right. In that in that area, I can I, I can see why you disagree with him on a lot of things, but like in that area, he's doing pretty well, and with the um, North Korea well, stuff. He's trying, in the like, early, who knows what's happening with North Korea at this point? Yeah. Right? Nothing's gonna happen with North, yeah. Korea. North Korea. They have no power. Yeah, they have no power. They're just they can't. Like, they're just gonna stay there. They're kind of like they're kind of like when Whoever a six year old. They're kind of like when a six year old like tries to flex. Yeah. Yes, that's what. If they do North something, Korea's. South Korea is just. But they also them. they're also holding like a pistol. Yeah. It's like a six-year-old that's flexing with a pistol. So like, yeah. they could so, like, hurt. They could hurt dangerous. someone. They could hurt someone. But after they hurt someone, they're gonna be euthanized. <laughs> and then there's, there's Europe with the machine gun and the U.S. with a rocket launcher. Yeah, yeah. it's like North Korea is just like pistol, and then and then everyone's like, <laughs> no, they're like, I'm gonna shoot you, and then everybody's like, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah North Korea is stupid, but like, I I think it's definitely gonna be a Trump win. I think it I think it might be close. But I don't think Biden's gonna win because for all this all this stuff with swing states and how Trump's like has more what is it called? What? Like he's he's made more of an appearance um to the people lately. And yeah. And but honestly, I now that That could be argued that's now that thing. now that the Supreme Court is conservative, I kinda do want to see Biden win. I, I am right leaning and Republican, so I like I agree with Trump policy. I don't agree with Trump because Trump is a fucking awful person, and like, if it was Ted Cruz, oh Ted Cruz is actually him. so intelligent. I love it's Ted like, Cruz. He's like, so, he's so smart. smart. I, I love Ted Cruz. I want him to be president so bad. He would be such a good president. Yeah, like even. I'm Even though you'll disagree with him a lot. Yeah. If it was Ted Cruz, we need Biden. to get back to like normal American like elections. I literally love Ted Cruz because right now we have a freaking oh, yeah. person with dementia and like <laughs> a person who's terrible. Yeah, 
No, but I agree with a lot of Trump policy because it's right leaning and Republican policy. I don't like Trump as a person because he's an he's he's turned the presidency into a reality TV show, which I don't like. Yeah. Because yeah. that's because that's what he is. He's a performer. He's an entertainer. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I lost. It's weird it. how uh, uh, I saw it. some videos about like uh, <laughs> Obama and uh, Mitch McConnell. I think that's the name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, debating in two thousand eight. Mitt Romney. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And oh, yeah. So and they were like, they were nice. so, they were so yeah. nice yeah. to there each other. There was like one in the EU, and then it was like Obama's anniversary, and I met Romney. It was like happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Yeah. yeah, and then oh my god. Yeah. No, it's seriously. We need to get but back to those type like, of elections. They yeah. like disagree with each other, but they don't hate each other. Yeah. And it's not. It's not like. Oh, a I, I figured out what I was saying. I kind of do. Even though I agree with Trump, I kind of do want to see Biden win, because. Um, there's a 6-3 conservative Supreme Court, although they have talked about court packing, which they won't do, but whatever. It would be the stupidest thing. Yeah, they're, 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 not, they're not actually going to do it. They're doing it to, like, make it make a point. Whatever. Well, they're talking about doing it to make a point. Mm-hmm. I would like to see, uh, I would kind of like to see Biden win, because then, and because I do think Senate's going to stay Republican, and there's also a chance the House might go Republican. But no, I doubt I, that. But the House will probably stay Democrat. There is a chance it will go Republican, but the Senate's definitely staying Republican. Yeah. And that would be a pretty good balance with a, a Republican Supreme Court and Senate and then um, House and yeah. President Democrat, um, which would be... But, like, uh, if Trump right. wins, which he, I hate it, but he probably will. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't hate know. it. Maybe will. I don't yeah. know. I think it's, like, a 55, like, 45 right now that yeah. he'll win. I think it's, like... 90-10. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, I'm, I am pretty confident that it will be a Trump win. Um, Which, is the whole balance there is going to be Yeah, crazy. it'll be it'll be a very, like, right-leaning four years. Yeah. Um, with a lot of new... Po- well, not... Yeah, with a lot of right-leaning... Trying policy. to reverse I, some other stuff. I don't too. think a yeah. lot of things will change. A lot. I've heard a lot of people are, don't want... Like, the Supreme Court, they're scared about the abortion yeah. thing. Which... It's not going to happen. The only because the, you you guys know how the Supreme Court works, right? Yeah. The only way to change a law is for someone is they can't be like we're going to sit down and we're going to change this law. Yeah. It has to yeah. be someone has to. It's going to be a guy. A guy has to like accuse his wife or girlfriend or whatever or a woman of killing his baby. Yeah. And he has to, and that has to go to the Supreme Court, and then they will have to rule abortion as as murder. As That's murder. never going to happen. Which but it's won't. not going to happen. It's like, I so uh, it would be a the, terrible thing because it would like make abortions kind of. It would drive them underground, so it would make them what less I, safe. In, on what I think should happen legal, legally with abortion, we can talk about what I think about abortion later because we're at fifty two minutes, so we should probably, probably end this. Yeah. Um, what I think about legality of abortion, I think it should be transferred to the states. It should. So be. I don't think it should be a federal um, mandated thing. I don't think the federal government should say it's a, it's illegal, or I don't think the gov- federal government should say it's illegal. Mm-hmm. I just think it should go to the state governments and then stuff like that. So, but I also think that the federal government should say like, there's something like they can't do, like they can't make it. So oh like, yeah. Like, like, like there's a limit on like, like late term stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's not going to change with the conservative Supreme court. Like, and also, I've seen the two things I've seen: conservative Supreme Court is going to change abortion laws and gay marriage. Supreme Court didn't even do gay marriage, so they like they're not. <laughs> yeah. They can't change it. It That's has to. Happen. It has, it has to, to be a Congress. Congress yeah. yeah, it has to be Congress. That, so and with the House making, and Senate split, like it's not. Gonna yeah, it's not going to happen. People are making stuff up. And no Republicans going to vote against gay marriage. Yeah. No, not in twenty twenty. Not yet. There's no, no one's going to vote against like changing a gay marriage law. Yeah. It's, I mean, they could try, but they're not going to... That was the dumbest thing. That's, that's like, the dumbest that's career thing suicide. Yeah. yeah. Republicans are not that traditional. Yeah. Um, but what I was reading about this, um, if the election is a tie... Oh, then Trump it'll go, is going to win. It'll go to, no, it'll go to the Senate, and um, it's speculated that it will go 50-50 in the Senate as well. The, even though it's 52-48 Republican... And then does it go... Um, there's, two, there's two Republicans who have said they're, they support Biden by, by uh-huh. over Trump. Um, so it'll be 50-50 in Senate, and then it will be a, tr- a Trump-Harris administration. Well, anyway, since I got a where, where in, in three minutes, where incumbent, incumbent president will be president, and then the vice president of Joe Biden. So it'll be a Trump-Harris administration. Well, honestly... Which I would kind of be down for. Honestly. That would be all right, but... 
still kind of Because, like, Trump and Harris would have a lot of fighting What would the vice president going. actually do? She could, Not like, a lot. Oh, no. but she, she would, could, like, block would, him from she doing would, stuff. She would, yeah. she would definitely influence him a lot yeah. and, like, um, make it harder for him to do stuff. Yeah. I don't want Trump to be president because I have very progressive views, especially yeah. about, like, uh, global views. warming and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Very progressive which views. I think is I a real problem, mean, which is I'm where I differ from right now. But we can talk about that later. So that's the end for right. today. Because we're, we're done. At 55 minutes. Anyways, it's been a little bit long. Thank long. you for watching our podcast. If you, you can check thing. us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and any major podcast stations. Every also major YouTube. podcast station. Every yeah, podcast station there is, it's on there for yeah. some reason. Yeah. But yeah, if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or whatever, go to YouTube because there's a visual part of it, there's a video over this. Um, yeah. yeah. And uh, come thank back next week. Go back, all the, watch all the other videos because they're wonderful. So we do a live reaction to the election? No, because it'll no, be it'll be, be a, so long. It'll be like a two month live stream. No, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Come back next week where we drink more tea and uh, uh, talk about more stuff. So, yeah, so, see you guys. Bye guys.